Welcome back to BJP Lifestyle guys. I hope you're having a great day. If you're new here, make sure you click that subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. We have new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. And of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. I'm not wearing a Lifestyle shirt, which is probably the first video in a long time that I'm not wearing a Lifestyle shirt. But uh, yeah, check out Shop Lifestyle. First link in the description. And uh, yeah, as you guys can tell, the car is ridiculously dirty. Um, it's There's pollen everywhere. Look at this. This is just, it's awful. It's gross. Look, you can see how yellow the windshield is. I'll show you guys once I run the wipers here in a second, but it's awful. I showed you the bird poop that they just destroyed the whole front. So I'm gonna go clean it even though it looks like it's about to rain anyway. But I'm gonna go give it a quick wash, just a quick like rinse down kind of thing. And then I'll give it a really good wash here in a uh, day or so, maybe once it's supposed to rain today and the next day and the next day. So you guys are gonna say I'm stupid, but I gotta get gas, I gotta do that. And then we're on to the next illegal mod that's gonna make my car even more of a cop maggot. But I think, I think it's fine. Let's just go ahead and do it. Watch this, watch this, it's gonna be gross. Look how ugh, disgusting, disgusting. I just want to show you guys real quick before I do it so you guys can see how dirty it actually is. Like, like what is this? Like, what is this? Hopefully this all comes off. Cause this is just, yeah, I'm just going to give it a quick, like, soap down and then a quick rinse. Well, a quick soap and then a quick rinse. And this, hopefully that, uh, that cleans it up for the most part. Get up in here and get the wheels clean at least a little bit. Um, but, but yeah, let's just time lapse that now. Alright, so I probably spent a little bit too much time doing that, but I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the cleanest my Jeep has been in a long time. Uh, I haven't eaten all day though, so I need to go eat. Uh, just a quick little look. Ooh, look at it. Probably snap a picture. Check out my Instagram if you guys are not already following me at BJP Lifestyle Instagram. Make sure you guys go follow me now uh, and see this nice photo, which probably isn't actually there anymore, but it would be if you guys were following me now. So let's go ahead and bounce out of here. Alright, I don't think this will give it away, but uh, we got some PW7 uh, bright white paint stick here. So it's just a little bottle with a little clear coat at the top, whatever. Uh, from Mopar, of course, because you have to go get it from the real place, I think. So we're at the Mopar part. I don't even think you can see it, but there's a there's a parts department, a big parts warehouse over here. But uh, yeah, so we got our paint. I think it was 22... 22.36. So that's part one. The next part's only gonna be about two dollars. So now we gotta go that way and find the next part. So let's start because it's about to rain and I, we don't like the rain here. No, no, we don't. Now our next place, which is kind of weird for something for a car, uh, you can see I parked nice and far away, but is uh, Home Depot. Now it's gonna sound weird, but but we're gonna go in and we're gonna get what we need from Home Depot and I'll show you guys what it is and uh, how we're gonna use it. But but, but let's just let's just go in. Alright, so you're probably gonna have to look this up, but we're basically gonna need these locking hole plugs in 3 16 which is gonna be right here. They're just nylon locking hole plugs. You can see it's 58 cents for two. And this is what they look like. And then they're just gonna get painted and go into the bumper. So I'm gonna grab two of these and uh yeah, 58 cents each. I think that's kind of a steal. So essentially I leaked what I'm doing, but basically this is whole this whole assembly is gonna come off and there's gonna be four screws that hold it in and it's gonna leave little holes so in order to fix that we're just gonna replace it with these little guys i think it came to a dollar 24 so i mean this is a fairly cheap fix you're just gonna paint these and stick them in uh fairly easy and uh yeah all right so my thought here is just to grab four toothpicks and stick them into a box here just like this so that we have a place to let these rest and dry so we're just gonna do four which these have a flat side on them. I don't know if you can see that. So that's gonna probably help a little bit, but if you guys have just pointy ones, I'm sure they'll work fine. And then we're gonna use some needle nose pliers to hold on to them while we paint them. And then we're just gonna set them on here to dry, do a couple coats. Um, I'm fortunate that my car is white and I'm painting them with bright white. So I don't really think it's gonna be too much of a job for me to paint these because you can see they're already white. If you guys are going to black or something like that, then you'll probably need to do more coats and be more careful. But for me, I'm a little bit fortunate in that uh, aspect. So as you can see, these things are super, super tiny little plugs. They're really not big at all. You can hopefully see on the camera. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get it focused, but 
you can see it, they're just these little tiny caps, so it's not gonna put a big hole in the bumper, which is good, because I really just don't want that. That's why I went with these. So yeah, I probably could even just paint them right on here, uh, but I don't think I'm going to, but uh, I probably could, but I'm gonna hold them with the needle nose pliers. So they actually came out pretty good for the first coat. Um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see because of the way the lighting is, um, but basically they're super smooth on top. And all I did was I just held them by the side as you can see here. I just held them like this and then that way I could set them back on there. But I just held them quickly painted, did a little bit, and then uh, I'm gonna let it dry. Probably do two coats of this maybe, and then do the little paint protection clear coat on top just to make them look a little bit nicer and make sure they're a little bit more protected. But overall, like I said, I'm going white to white, so it's not as big of a deal. If you guys are doing like black or something, it's probably gonna take a little bit more coats and a little bit more precision. But with this, it's super easy to get it on and make it uh, super clean and it's super smooth basically. So now we just wait, let it dry for a while, and then we'll do another coat and then a clear coat and then pretty much we're good to swap out the plate. All right, so here's how these are looking. This is the next day. so. Hopefully you guys can see them there. They have one layer of clear coat and then three layers of paint. So they're looking good and they're gonna pop right in nicely. So I'm gonna grab these and then go ahead and hook them onto the car. Well, we gotta take the thing off, but let's just go outside now and go remove this off the car. All right, so now we're gonna remove these two screws here on the front. Uh, if you guys remember, I got my custom plate not that long ago. So we're just gonna remove these two little black screws here, which hopefully, when we remove this, the holes that are screwed into the bumper aren't too big and it's not gonna keep it kind of stuck in there <laughs> or like the holes aren't gonna be too big for the little 316s that we got. So we're just gonna pop this off and pull these covers off and then there should be four more screws that are screwed into the bumper itself. So it looks like down here, these are like star bits. Uh, hopefully you guys can see when I get up close, they're like star bits that are screwed into the bumper. So uh, yeah, I gotta figure out what size that is and then I'll let you guys know. All right, don't be stupid like me. It's a T20 Torx, you know, it, it I, I, I tried a T25, too big, T15, too small. I should have just known, you know. You guys also should note that if your state requires a front plate, maybe don't do this. Mine requires a front plate, but here I am doing it. Um, I'm gonna keep all this in my car so that I can put it back on if I do get hassled about it. Maybe work my way out of a ticket or something. So uh, yeah, maybe just do that if you're like me and just keep it in your car so you don't get pulled over. Or if you do, then you have a way out maybe. <laughs> You can see there how it's looking with the plate off. Um, you can kind of see, I love how it looks without the front plate. I think it looks so good, but uh, you can see we got these like nice little like notches from where it was screwed in. So I'm probably gonna have to work those down just a little bit with like, I don't even know, but I'm gonna have to mess with it. And obviously there's, it's nice and dirty. So I'm gonna clean it up and uh, work these out with something and I'll let you know what I did. I'll probably just tap on them with like a flathead or something and push them in kind of thing. I don't know. We're going to mess with it. Uh, and then we'll clean it up and then we'll put the caps in and see how they work. All right. So we got it all cleaned up. It had a nice little like like lip around it from where it was dirty. But uh, we cleaned that up just using a, uh, a little magic eraser. If you guys don't have any of these, make sure you get some of these because for things like that, it gets like the dirt and stuff off. Make sure you go in one direction so you don't like mess it up too bad. You see, we even have some little like chips under here, which is kind of strange because there was a plate cover there. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna try and put our covers in. We might need to expand the holes a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and see how it looks. Um, I'm gonna try and just press this in with the cover and uh, hopefully it kind of fixes itself there because I don't wanna, I don't wanna scrape anything off. So uh, let's see how it goes. So here's what we're looking like. Um, I like the way it looks from a distance, but when you get up close, it's super scuffed and it's in part just because of the way when they screw those into the bumper, it kind of like creates a little notch here. Um, so you can kind of see if you look down on it, it's almost like a little nipple going on here. And you can see there's like a little black outline. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there's kind of like a little black outline around them a little bit because of how the plastic is behind the bumper and whatnot. So we'll see how long it lasts. Plus like it's kind of not worth it if you could get pulled over. If you're gonna get pulled over in the place that you're at, but I love the way that it looks without the front bumper or without the front plate. Um, I'll show you guys like a better view from the side here maybe. Um, I like how it looks a lot. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, I'm gonna keep it for a little bit, see how I like it, see if it grows on me kind of thing, which is with most things. Like I said, I'm gonna keep all this old stuff in the back of the, in like the trunk underneath, 
So then that way if I do get pulled over or whatever, it's just a quick fix to slap it back on. These can just pop right out with a flathead screwdriver. Um, what I ended up doing was just using this flathead, which is just a kind of small one, and basically just pushing it through. You have to kind of push all the way through, which kind of sucks, but either way, your screws will sit on there just the same. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what it's looking like. Like I said, it's kind of scuffed because the way that it like, the way that it screws into the bumper. So I guess you could get a full front bumper if you really wanted to do this without, and just buy one without the front plate already mounted to it because when they screw into it, it like pulls it out. So, but from like standing normal when you're just looking at it, it looks good. It's just when you kind of like get up close and look at it, it looks weird, but that's with anything. Like I said, I think I'm gonna run with it for at least a day or so. And as you guys remember, I just washed my car and you can see it's it's nice and dirty again. Like I said, I'm gonna run with it for like a day or so and we'll see how it goes. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that like button down below. Help the YouTube algorithm, help this video get out to more people. And of course, if you guys are not already subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button down below right now to be notified when new videos go live. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 p.m. here on the channel. And of course, check out Shop Lifestyle. Get yourself some lifestyle merch. But thanks for watching, guys. Peace.